Extend the front arm first, then the rear arms to maximum angle. Open the gimbal core. Pinch the buckles on both sides of the battery, then push the battery into its compartment until you hear a click. Check if the battery is secured in its compartment. To remove the battery, hold the front of the aircraft in position and pinch the buckles on both sides of the battery, then pull the battery out. Power on off tutorial. The power switch is located on the rear of the aircraft. Press and hold the power button for 2 seconds until the LED indicators turn on. The gimbal will calibrate itself. The aircraft will make a startup beep and four LED indicators will flash slowly in blue and red. Press and hold the power button for 2 seconds until the LED indicators go off to turn off the aircraft. After holding down the controller power button for 2 seconds, the power LED indicators will flash in sequence. Long press the controller power button and you will hear a beep tone. Turn on the controller. Hubson equipped 3 connection ports to accommodate different types of mobile devices. The ports are micro USB, type C, and lightning ports. Connect the controller to the aircraft by using a connection cable. Press and hold the aircraft power button to turn on the aircraft. Run X Hubson app if you're using Hubson products for the first time. You will need to register an account first. Log in your account and enter the interface. At this time, the transmitter icon will turn into a relay icon to show that mobile device and transmitter has been paired. Tap on controller in settings, select Wi-Fi on the controller. Enter set up the connection between controller and aircraft page and refresh Wi-Fi list to search for the Wi-Fi name of your product. Tap on connect after successful connection. You can control the aircraft based on the prompts. After the connection is established, the aircraft must be bound to your mobile device to prevent any signal interference. After binding your mobile device to the aircraft, put your aircraft and mobile device close to each other, then perform GPS accuracy test. After passing the GPS accuracy test, pull both controller sticks down and out to arm the motors. The HT016B controller will beep with an interval of 0.5 seconds to indicate a low battery signal. Please return the aircraft as soon as possible. Horizontal Calibration Tutorial When you notice the aircraft is drifting during flight, please land the aircraft and disarm the motors. Place the aircraft on a horizontal surface for a horizontal calibration. After entering the app settings, Tap on Others and select Horizontal Calibration. The aircraft will automatically calibrate. The four LED indicators will flash. Calibration is complete once the LED indications turn solid. Please do not move the aircraft when it is calibrating. Compass Calibration Tutorial After initializing, if the aircraft detects that the compass is interfered, the aircraft will automatically prompt for compass calibration. However, you can also calibrate the compass yourself according to flight status. After entering the app settings, tap on Other and select Compass Calibration. Follow the prompts for the horizontal calibration. Four LED indicators flashing in a rotating pattern rotate the aircraft clockwise horizontally. Vertical Calibration. Four LED indicators flashing alternately. Point the nose of the aircraft down and rotate it clockwise in the vertical direction. After the calibration is complete, the calibration window will disappear. Extend the front arm first, then the rear arms to maximum angle. Open the gimbal core. 
Place the aircraft on a flat surface after connecting successfully. Proceed to take off. Press and hold the takeoff button. The transmitter will beep and the aircraft will automatically arm the motors and rise and hover at the height of 2 meters waiting for your command. Press and hold the landing button. The aircraft will slowly descend and land then disarm the motors. In the app of your mobile device, you can access one button take off, landing, and return by tapping on the function icons. Hold and press the return button on HC016B after hearing a beep. The aircraft will start returning to takeoff point. When the aircraft is at a far distance, the app interface allows you to view the current flight position and other flight data. Note, during return to home, you can control your aircraft to avoid obstacles, but yaw does not work. Short press the return to home button to exit return to home mode. Tips. If the aircraft is returning due to a loss of signal from the transmitter, the aircraft will hover in position and wait for your command once the aircraft reconnects to the transmitter again. Basic Flight Tutorial The following demonstrates the takeoff and landing of the aircraft in mode 2. It will both sticks down and out to arm the motors. Push the left stick up and the aircraft will ascend to take off. Pull the left stick down and the aircraft will descend to land. Pull both sticks down and out to disarm the motors. The following demonstrates some basic flight. Push the left stick to the left and the aircraft will rotate left. Push the left stick to the right and the aircraft will rotate right. Push the right stick up and the aircraft will move forward. Pull the right stick down and the aircraft will move backward. Push the right stick to the left and the aircraft will move left. Push the right stick to the right and the aircraft will move right. In the menu, on the left side of the app interface, there are multiple flight modes built in for easier accessibility. 